Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadabia Palace. Following the session, the Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr. Yasser bin Isa Nasser, issued the following statement. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed thanks to the specialized authorities at the Ministry of Interior for raising awareness on following safety instructions in houses to avoid accidents and harm. His Royal Highness directed to increase awareness campaigns for the optimal use of household appliances and for following the requirements of safety and security to prevent accidents. His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to prepare a guide for house projects in cooperation with the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and the Ministry of Health. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also directed the Ministry of Health to prepare a comprehensive study on health centers and their working hours to evaluate and develop them to ensure that citizens receive sufficient medical services and health care in various areas and at all times. The cabinet strongly denounced the cowardly terrorist act targeting the security checkpoint in Al Arish, Egypt, affirming Bahrain's stance and its full support to Egypt on all the measures it takes to preserve its security and stability. The cabinet also followed up on the developments in Sudan and called on its citizens to prioritize the country's supreme interest, stability and development. The cabinet followed up on the measures taken in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to ease the traffic flow on King Fahad Causeway to make it commensurate with the positive growth of traveling rates. The cabinet reviewed the memorandum submitted by the Minister of Interior of the steps and measures taken on implementing the royal directives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the efforts of the specialized authorities at the Ministry of Interior to ease the traffic flow and facilitate the procedures commending the cooperation between the Bahraini and Saudi sides on further development of the causeway. The cabinet approved a draft law amending the law of commercial companies and decided to refer it to the legislative authority according to the constitutional and legal procedures. The amendment facilitates and speeds up the procedures of the undersecretary's attendance of the public society meetings of the company on behalf of the partner. The cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee of Financial and Economic Affairs and fiscal balance, the memorandum of, of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on the financial subsidies and debts of sports clubs. The Cabinet also approved the government's response on a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council on connecting housing unit prices to their size. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Fund, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended yesterday Bahrain School's graduation ceremony at the Bahrain National Theatre. During the ceremony, patronized by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which coincides with the 50th anniversary of the founding of Bahrain School, His Highness Sheikh Isa gave a speech in which he recognized the 
Kingdom's role in placing education at the forefront of the country's long-term comprehensive development. His Highness highlighted the importance of education in supporting a sustainable modern economy, noting the Kingdom's continued commitment to youth development in order to promote inclusive growth. His Highness Sheikh Isa noted Bahrain School's 50 years of educational excellence in the Kingdom, adding that the school has successfully provided graduating students the tools they need to succeed in an ever-changing world. His Highness concluded by congratulating the graduating students and wish them success in their future educational endeavors.
press conference was held today at Diyar al to launch the world's largest underwater diving park in the presence of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed bin Rashid Zayani and a number of government officials. An outdoor open area will be allocated for diving enthusiasts and members of the public who wish to witness the launch of the project held in cooperation with the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism and the Supreme Council for the Environment as well as the private sector. The underwater theme park will include several unique dive spots in addition to artificial coral reefs that will be submerged in the later stages of the project in order to form a safe haven for the kingdom's marine ecosystem to encourage coral growth and the development of a sustainable habitat for marine life to thrive. We have embarked on this project as part of the development of our coastal and island developments uh, because we realize that we have been blessed with all this water around us uh, and we, we should be utilizing it better. So part of this initiative was to launch this underwater dive site uh, on an area of 100,000 square meters which would make it the largest underwater dive park in the world. And to give it more importance we decided to have a focal point which is a 747 aircraft. Uh, this again is the largest object sunk underwater. Uh, and in addition to this aircraft, there will be other objects uh, submerged there, including uh, a replica of an old uh, house of an Okhide, uh, and many other particles which we hope to develop the marine life, the coral life, and the, and the fisheries around that area. We're very glad to actually uh, launch one of the main fundamental tourism projects in Bahrain. Uh, it will be one of the main pillars of uh, eco-tourism, uh, very environmental friendly. Uh, it will help uh, uh, divers from all over uh, the world to have uh, an excellent experience in the kingdom, uh, allowing them to actually experience an underwater theme park the largest of its size in the world. Our rep offices across the globe uh, got a lot of queries and today we're very happy to host local and regional and international dive centers who are with us and looking forward uh, to launch uh, such a, a spectacular uh, project. I think the project will contribute a lot. We in Bahrain, we reached now 21% uh, of our marine life is actually protected areas. This is in Rech, a one kilometer square of protected area is actually an adding value to the marine life. 